This method can help answer key questions in the biochemistry field, such as size, shape, and conformational changes of biomolecules and their complexes. The main advantage of this technique is that experiments can be performed under physiologically relevant buffer conditions in an environment where biomolecules are stable. SACS is a complementary technique to many other biophysical and structural biology methods. Combining SACS with these methods can help us in developing structure-based therapeutics. Though this method can provide insight into biomolecular complexes, it can also be applied to other systems, such as studying nanoparticles and drug delivery vesicles. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because it appears as an overwhelming and complicated process to go from raw scattering data to low resolution structures. Visual demonstration of this method is critical as the pipeline of data analysis to obtain structural models from raw data is difficult to learn because it involves the use of many different packages of software. There are a few software packages that are useful for SACS data analysis. These include Scatter, BioXTAS Raw, and the AdSats Suite. In this video, we will provide an overview of the general steps to be taken when analyzing raw SACS data using the AdSats Program Suite. To begin, install and load the AdSats Program Suite. Open the Primus QT program and go to the Open menu option. Here, select up to 13 data files of interest. The data files must be in the ASCII format in which the first column is the S-vector axis and the second column is the intensity. Repeat this step for the buffer-only data, inserting this data into a second tools menu.